This week we have a video packed with info as we look into DDR5, the next generation of computer memory. Hey guys, Craig from Server Factory here. There's been a long-awaited announcement this month as the DDR5 specification has finally been released. This details the specs of the next generation of computer memory and it brings upgrades to just about everything. Now it's worth noting that memory can get really confusing. There are so many different types of data involved and it can get overly complicated fast. So we'll try and keep it as simple as possible. So probably the biggest news here is the speed increase. DDR5 speed is officially capped at 6400 megahertz. This is double DDR4's cap which is officially 3200 megahertz. By the way, you might see the speed written in megahertz or mega transfers, but they essentially mean the same thing. Anyway, for every previous release, the next generation has launched at the cap of the one before. This would mean DDR5 starts at 3200 megahertz, but it seems that instead it will launch at 4,800 megahertz, which will mean a 50% speed increase on launch. Hynix even announced earlier this year that they're aiming to get up to 8,400 megahertz, which is probably years away, but still a massive leap. A second key point is that the sticks will be the same size as before with 288 pins. They will, however, have a different layout of pins. So DDR4 motherboards and DDR5 memory won't be cross compatible. In terms of capacity, DDR5 offers up to four times DDR4's max capacity. This means that UDIM memory, which is used in desktop PCs, will be available in capacities of up to 128 gigabyte instead of 32 gigabyte. And for server memory, we would be looking at LRDIM that's up to four terabytes per stick, which is absolutely crazy. Another big feature, especially for the server market, is on die ECC. ECC or error correcting code corrects data errors and ECC RAM is really commonly used on servers for precise tasks. The actual error correction is usually completely overseen by a memory controller which is on the processor. However, with DDR4 this will be now moved onto the memory itself to save processing power which is a cool little feature. The memory will also take on another job, which it didn't have before, which is regulating its own power use. This has always been done by the motherboard, so by taking this function away, we could see the cost of motherboards go down slightly. Also, in terms of voltage, DDR5 will use 9% less power than DDR4. This isn't as big as last generation's 20% reduction, but with the extra features added, it's actually kind of impressive that it's still able to use less power. So that's all of the biggest news from the spec release. But when will we actually have DDR5 memory in our systems? It looks like we'll probably see the first release for servers by the end of the year and the first PC release coming between 2021 and 2022. As with the previous generation, DDR5 is probably going to become the memory type used in just about every desktop and server. It's been in the works for a while now and the spec was originally expected a few years ago. One of the first signs the spec release was near was when Hynix showed off their DDR5 memory prototypes early this year at CES 2020. The public got to see a stick of 64GB 4800MHz RAM, with its slightly different layout compared to the previous generation. What did you think about this video? Let us know if there's anything you want us to cover in the comments below. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.